Debentures can be issued at par, which means if the debenture value is 100 rupees, it is issued at exact 100 rupees only, then it is termed as what? Par. Under debenture problem, if they mention the rate of interest, in each and every problem they will mention the rate of interest, then you have to mention the rate of interest here. Debenture application account data to debentures account. Here you have to be careful, in share we are going to transfer to share capital, but here we are going to transfer to debentures only. Hello everyone, I am Harshita, lecturer, Department of Commerce with Yashram Pew College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. My dear students, today we are in the second session of your second chapter that is Issue and Redemption of Debentures and this is from part B. So let us quickly recall what we have discussed in a previous session. So in a previous session, we have covered this topic that is we have learnt about introduction and meaning of debentures. So to recall, so what do you mean by debentures? A debenture is nothing but it is an acknowledgement of debt which is given to the or which is issued to the public where when the public gets the debenture, so they will become the debenture holders. So where the company has to make the payment principal as well as interest, where the debenture holders gets the rate of return in the form of interest. So that is about the introduction and meaning of debentures. And the next we have learnt about various characteristics or features of debentures. So to recall that what are the characteristics or features of debentures? Debenture holders are called as what? Creditors of the company and normally the debentures are issued at specified rate of interest or it can be issued at zero coupon rate also. So which is called as what? Bond. So here there are a lot of different between debentures as well as bond. So everything we have discussed in a previous session. Next we have learned about various types of debentures based on priority, based on redeemability, based on convertibility. So what are the various types of debentures? Next we have learned about what is the difference between shares and debentures. So differentiate the share and debenture, share is called as what or share is a part of share capital or capital of the company whereas debenture is what? It is like a loan. Shareholders are, are the one who holds shares are called as what? Shareholders of the company, one who holds debentures they are called as what? Debenture holders of the company. Shareholders are real owners of the company, debenture holders are creditors of the company. The rate of return for share is what? Dividend. The rate of return for debenture is what? Interest. So there are a lot of difference between shares and debentures what we have discussed in the previous session. So in today's session, so I have told you we are going to discuss about the journal entries in case of whether if it is issued at par, premium as well as discount and let us see a few of the problems where uh, if the debentures are issued at par. Now coming to the topic, so debentures, issue of debentures for cash. So let us see what are the journal entry. So the debentures can be issued at par. So par means what? It is the exact value. Suppose if the value of debenture is rupees 100 and if it is issued at rupees 100 only. So if it is at issued at rupees 100 only, then it is termed as what? Par. Then what do you mean by premium more than the par value? Suppose if 100 rupees debentures is issued at rupees 120, then it is called as what? Issued at premium. Then what is discount less than the par value? So 100 rupees debentures, if it is issued at rupees 80, then it is called as what? Issued at discount. So these are the three different situations where debentures can be issued. So debentures can be issued at par which means if the debenture value is 100 rupees, it is issued at exact 100 rupees only, then it is termed as what? Par. So let us see what is a journal entry. So you are going to or we have taken only the journal entry in case of allotment stage. So here also your accounting treatment will be same as issue of shares only. So where there are different situations or different installments where the amount can be uh, collected from the debenture holders. So it may be application stage, allotment stage, first time final call. So this you have learned properly in your uh, shares chapter. So there are different situations. So the amount can be collected in application stage, allotment stage or in any of the call stage. Okay. 
So let us see what are the journal entries and normally if it is issued at par premium or discount, the journal entry affects in allotment stage. So let us see what are the journal entries to be recorded. Now coming to the first situation if it is issued at par. So what is the entry? So first is due entry and the amount received. So due entry is debenture allotment account data to debentures account. So what would be the journal entry in case of shares? share allotment account data to share capital but here it is debenture allotment account data to debentures account next receiving of allotment money what is the entry when it is par bank account data to debenture allotment account but in case of shares bank account data to share allotment account instead of share here it is debenture allotment account same as your shares chapter only but you have to use the word debentures here instead of share capital you have to write the name of the debenture debentures account next is if it is issued at premium so how does it affects in allotment stage so your entry is debenture allotment account data to debentures account to securities premium account so how do you record in terms of shares share uh, allotment account data to share capital to securities premium it was now here it is debenture allotment account data to debentures account to securities premium account so this is due entry receiving entry bank account data to debenture allotment account so same as your share chapter now suppose if it is issued at discount so I have told you in the previous session itself debentures can be issued at discount also. So what is the entry debenture allotment account data discount on issue of debentures account data to debentures account. So this will be the journal entry when it is issued at discount. Next receiving bank account data to debenture allotment account. Now this is due entry and this is receive entry. So your receive entry is bank account data to debenture allotment account. Hope you are clear with how the entries are recorded in case of if it is issued at par, premium and discount. So what is the entry in par? So your entry is debenture allotment account data to debentures account. Premium debenture allotment account data to debentures account. Here this is extra to securities premium account. Now when it is issued at discount, Debenture allotment account data, discount on issue of debentures account. Now this is extra to debentures account. So this will be the different situations when it is issued at par, premium and discount. Now if whole amount, so let us see how the amount has been received. Suppose if the debenture holder gives the whole amount in one installment, then what is the entry? Or if it is in two installment or more than two installment, what would be the entry journal entry under different situation while well, the amount is being received by the company from the debenture holders now if all amount is received in one installment if the whole amount is received from the debenture holders in one installment then what is the entry on receipt of application money so what is the entry bank account data to debenture application and allotment account we are going to receive the whole amount in one lump sum so your entry is bank account data to debenture application and allotment account then what is the transfer entry or adjusting entry debenture application and allotment account data to debentures account so here under debenture problem if they mention the rate of interest in each and every problem they'll mention the rate of interest then you have to mention the rate of interest here okay so for example if it is 10 percent debentures so your entry will be bank account data to 10 percent debenture application and allotment account and transfer entry 10 percent debenture application and allotment account data to 10 percent debentures account so this is how this is the case where the amount is received in one installment now your second situation if debenture amount is received in two installments then what is the entry so first situation that is in application and allotment stage they are going to receive the whole amount okay so your entry is bank account data to debenture application account receiving of application money next is transfer or adjusting entry debenture application account data to debentures account this is the first installment now coming to the second one second installment is received in case of allotment stage so your entry so first is due entry then is receive entry so hope you remember the shares chapter first is due entry next is receive entry what is the due entry debenture allotment account data to debentures account now receipt of money 
bank account data to debenture allotment account. So this is about your situations. Now, if debenture amount is received more than two installment, so then you have application stage, allotment stage, as well as call stage. Let us see what is the entry on receiving of application money, bank account data to debenture application account, now transfer entry, debenture application account data to debentures account, now coming to allotment money due, what is the entry debenture allotment account data to debentures account, allotment money received, bank account data to debenture allotment account, now the third stage, so third uh, installment, that is first call, debenture first call account data to debentures account, due entry, receive entry, on receiving of first call, bank account data to debenture first call account. So this will be the first installment, application stage, allotment stage, second installment and call, that is third installment, clear? So this is how the debenture holders give the amount to the company. It may be in one lump sum where you are going to combine application and allotment together and if it is in two, application is different, allotment stage is different. If it is more than two, then application different, allotment is different, call stages are different. Call stages might be first call, second call, third call, uh, third and uh, final call. So like that it will continue. So these are the cases or the journal entry how the amount has been received by the company. Now we shall directly go through a small problem on issue of debentures at par. Okay, so here it is done in more than uh, two installments that is you will have application stage, allotment stage as well as first and final call stage. So you know those stages we are going to record six journal entry. So two journal entry under each stage, two journal entry under application stage, two journal entry and allotment stage and two journal entry and first and final call stage. Okay, so go through the problem here. Shrestha Company Limited issued 20,000 5% debentures. Now here they have clearly mentioned 5% debentures in the sense what? 5% is interest. Okay, of rupees 100 each payable as follows. Now we are going to solve a, a problem on when it is issued at par. Okay, so here the value of each debenture is rupees 100, rupees 15 on application, rupees 40 on allotment and rupees 45 on first and final call. So how they are going to receive that 100 rupees? So 100 rupees is the value of each debenture. So under application, so what is the amount on application? That is 15 rupees. Next is allotment. So allotment is 40 rupees and first and final call, first call. So first call is 45 rupees. So total it is 100 rupees. Okay, so this is issued at what? This is issued at par. Okay, so this is a problem on par where 15 on application, 40 on allotment and 45 on first and final call. All the debentures were subscribed and the money duly received. Pass the necessary journal entry to record the above transaction. So what are the entries to be recorded? The first entry will be receiving of application money. Second entry, transfer of application money. Third entry, allotment due. Fourth entry, allotment money received. Fifth entry, first and final call money due. Sixth entry, first and final call money received. Same as your shares, but instead of using share there, you are going to use the word debenture. Okay, so let us see the solution here. Now, I have told you, you have to record six entries and the format is same, date, particulars, ledger, folio, debit and credit. So what is the first journal entry for receiving of application money? Bank account data to debenture, application account, and the narration being application money received. So how do we take the amount? 20,000 is the number of debentures and what is the application money? 15 rupees. So 20,000 into 15. So that is 3 lakh. So this would be the first journal entry that is receiving of debenture application money and the entry is bank account data to debenture application account 20,000 into 15. Next transfer entry, debenture application account data to debentures account. Here you have to be careful. In share, we are going to transfer to share capital. But here we are going to transfer to debentures only. So 5% debentures account narration being application money transferred. Same amount. That is 3 lakh. So this is application stage under 
where you are going to record the two entries. Now come to the allotment stage. First entry is due entry. What is entry? Debenture allotment account at R2. Debentures account being allotment money due. So how do we take the amount? 20,000 into 40. 20,000 into 40 is the allotment money. So 20,000 is the number of debentures into allotment money is 40. So we'll get 8 lakh. Now receiving of allotment money, bank account data to debenture allotment account being debenture allotment money received with the same amount 8 lakh. So we are done with the allotment stage. Now come to first and final call stage. First and final call money due. What is the entry? Debenture first and final call account data to 5% debentures account. Now how do we take the amount? The number of debentures is 20,000 into first and final call money is 45 rupees. Okay. So 20,000 into 45, that is 9 lakh. This is first time final call money due. Now received, what is the entry? Bank account data to debenture, first time final call, being first time final call money received. So here it is 9 lakh, all the amount we have received. So this earlier, uh, according to the earlier pattern, they used to ask for 6 marks, but as per this year's pattern, they will not ask this problem. Okay, so for but the basic thing you have to know this, what are the 6 entries which has to be recorded under different stages when the debentures are issued at par. A similar type of problem we shall solve one more one. So, Hindustan Company Limited issued 20,000, so number of debentures is 20,000 and 10% debentures of rupees 10 each. Now, here the value of each debenture is 10 rupees payable as follows. So, how they are going to pay that 10 rupees? 2 on application, 4 on allotment, 4 on first and final call. All the debentures were subscribed and the money duly received. Pass the necessary journal entries in the books of company. Now, under different situations, we have to record the journal entry. Same as your earlier problem. But the number as well as the amounts are different. Okay. So, let us see. Journal entries in the books of Hindustan Company Limited. Now, your format is simple. Date, particulars, ledger, folio, debit and credit. Okay. So, come to the first entry. Receiving of application money, debenture application money. What is the entry? Bank account data to debenture application account. What is the number of debentures? 20,000. What is application money? 2 rupees. 20,000 into 2. So that is 40,000. Now application money received. Now transfer. So what is the entry? Debenture application account data to 10% debentures account. Narration being application money transfer. With the same amount we are going to transfer. So this is your first stage. Now come to the second stage, allotment money due. What is the entry? Debenture allotment account data to 10% debentures account being allotment money due. Now how do you write the amount? 20,000 into allotment money is 4 rupees. So 20,000 into 4, 80,000. So this is due entry. Now receiving of allotment money entry is bank account data to debenture allotment account being allotment money received. So how much? 80,000. Now coming to first time final call money due. What is the entry? Debenture first time final call account data to 10% debentures account. How do we write the amount? 20,000 into 4. Okay, so first time final call money is 4. 20,000 into 4 that is 80,000. Now receiving bank account data to debenture first time final call account being first time final call money received because all the amount we have received under every stages. So you are going to take the same amount which is due. So this was a simple problem where they were asking for 6 marks but this year as per your new question paper pattern you don't get this type of question for 6 marks. So hope you are clear. So this is about your problem with when the debentures are issued at par where you have to record 6 entries. Okay, so in my next session let us discuss problems on debentures when it is issued at premium and when it is issued at discount. So in this today's session we have discussed about journal entries under different situations when the debenture holders pay in 1 installments, 2 installments or more than 2 installments and Two problems when the uh, debentures are issued at par where you have to record six journal entries. So my dear students, hope you have understood the session. See you all in my next session with a new concept. Till then, take care. Thank you.